Okay, um, I got this question from a, um, an advanced student. I can't tolerate non-awakened teachers. Um, now, I'm, I'm answering um, this question for someone uh, in uh, for someone who I think is now, you know, um, has the burning to finish everything that's left within the ego and completely finish the finish the work, if you like. And I'm going to share something on this video, which uh, probably is not what would be expected, but it's like when there's a burning for enlightenment and to be free. Um, I mean, Hawkins said, you know, uh, uh, straight and narrow is the path. Waste no time. You know, waste no time. Straight and narrow. I mean, if you, if the burning is there for enlightenment, and uh, and there's the um, is um, take the fastest route there to enlightenment. That would be um, that's what I would say. So it's like now. I mean, I've been asked this question in various guises. It's like now I know that some people are thinking. If if one can't tolerate it, one should stay in the situation and forgive and cancel until that that teacher. There's only unconditional love in relationship to that teacher, or just to stay in that situation uh, and transcend it. But I, my thing is, it's the context of the situation. Sometimes when you're stuck with someone, if there's the burning for enlightenment and someone's not um, uh, is not at that level, and there's um, there's the urge. I don't. I don't think it's a tolerance. I think it's the, like something wants to burn off the remains of the ego, and this is this situation is not aiding in finishing the job off. So um, <clears throat> then, um, like for me, it's like when the burning happens. It's like if there is a, it's like the highest teacher. I mean, I don't want to be around teachers that um, uh, 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 are not going to finish the job off. Um, and uh, I don't want to be um, with people that aren't going to finish the job off. Um, so there is that thing of urgency, you know, like let's get it done uh, and not sort of uh, waffle around. So I, I would say that's more like um, a divine intuition to not uh, waste time. Um, now, I know this is going to bring up a lot of um, stuff. It's like, well, surely you should just stick around and be and transcend it until and leave the t and only transcend the teacher but for me it's like um, how to explain it it's like the ego has certain core core things which limit the student for enlightenment and um and uh and part of it is the intention uh or is the uh, unfoldment uh and the good fortune good karma to be if one knows of good teachers to be in their presence and to have interactions with them until in those high fields of consciousness in the experience of the light, you know, the last remnants of the ego can be dissolved for good. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to explain the the answer. So it's like, now I could sit with a, with, um, a teacher that is not going to help me with my spiritual advancement, and there could be irritation. But to clear those irritations out might take some time, and then there'd be only love and there would be no separation. But equally, you know, if there is awareness that there's another teacher down the road which can finish the job off, um, if one went there, shall we say, and the job got finished, one wouldn't have to, you know, it's like the whole ego is now dissolved. So one doesn't have to do the small transcendences of like transcending um, uh, teachers or just sharing the non-truth. I shared it in another way in a, for a different question. It's like, surely should transcend and get to a place of unconditional love with every single situation. And it's like, no, I'm not going to go into a war zone and practice forgiveness if people are being blown up around me and transcendence. It's like um, the universe will provide me with the next lessons uh, I need. I don't have to go out run, running for them or stay in situations where there's other situations that will advance my spiritual release at a faster level. So that's geared for that answer was geared for an advanced student. So I'll um okay, no, is is it a duality? Well, you know, is it is it a judgment or an evaluation? Well, judgment and evaluation, you see, then then the context is like I'm still gonna say the same answer. It's like if there's a judgment or an evaluation, okay, here's another thing. 
if one has to see that teacher um, on a weekly basis and one has no choice in the matter, then I would say um, you have to let go of any evaluation or judgment or thoughts until there's no duality. There's no teacher, there's no you, there's no not being able to, not liking what they say or whatever it is. You can dissolve all those, the usual, the witnesser uh, or uh, Course in Miracles until that ceases to exist and there's only love and no thought and oneness. Um, but if, there, if it was like... Um, I'd, I won't bother doing the work if if the work can be done quicker elsewhere. I hope that kind of explains it because I know people won't like this answer, but I'll leave it there. That's an answer for an advanced student. Okay.